okay hi guys so i uh, will continue with the uh, nn coupling and cn coupling as we saw in the last last lecture okay so let me get started so suppose we have an example like we have this compound okay and we have oh also attached here and obviously we are using this the diazonium salt as our electrophile okay so what would be the and the conditions are mild basic okay so why why we are putting the conditions as, as mild basic because uh, h this phenol group can donate its h plus okay and uh, o will have a negative charge which can which can go into the conjugation with the the pi electrons in the ring okay so what would be the major compound here obviously this from this carbon atom it would be attacking over this nitrogen atom so we'll get something like OH here and PH here okay and this is a dye and the color of this dye is red color so this is a red color dye okay so now let's discuss uh, another topic which is effect of PH okay so effect of ph on these two compounds we have first aniline okay so we react aniline uh, with the, the diazonium uh, chloride in the ph range of 5 to 7 and second we react phenol with the diazonium salt in the ph range of 10 to 11 okay so what actually happens when we react it so first first let us observe what actually happens at low ph okay so at low ph what actually happens is in case of aniline is we have this and low ph means high acidic concentration hence this aniline will actually attack on this h plus to form itself uh, to for, to have a negative uh, positive charge on itself and forming nh3 plus what actually happens at high ph with the diazonium salt is at high ph we have get we we actually get something like this this is our diazonium salt and at high ph means high concentration of oh minus this oh minus actually attaches acts as a nucleophile and attaches attaches itself to the this n atom to get something like this okay and this after again oh minus attack will actually remove this uh, H plus and we'll get something like diazotate ion that that the structure I'll just draw this is diazotate ion okay so this will act as a nucleophile okay and the name of this compound is or ion is diazotate ion okay so what actually happens at mild pH uh, at mild pH suppose we are reacting phenol so what actually happens at mild pH means we have low concentration of H plus but still phenol is a good acid so what it will do is it will convert itself into O minus and water molecule would be hence formed so obviously and on the other hand at the same time we can say that the diazonium salt would actually not react with OH minus because it's a it's a mild concentration okay so this reaction won't go forward so now coming to our previous ex question that what actually happens when we react this compound in presence of mild acid uh, mild pH or strong pH okay so if we react it at with obviously the reagent remains the same which is diazonium salt if we react it with diazonium salt in mild basic condition so what happens in mild basic condition is even in mild basic condition this H plus would be loosed by the phenol uh, ring and will get something like means OH group would be driving the reaction and hence at ortho position only diazonium salt would be getting itself attached okay and what happens if we react this compound with again the reagent remains the same 
we have the diazonium okay uh, not this one yeah and in we have mild acidic condition so in mild acidic condition what will happen is the h nh3 would be actually getting uh, uh, formed as a result uh, we have already seen that if the nh3 or the n atom in nh3 gets a positive charge then actually cn coupling takes place and the ortho position or the carbon atom at the ortho position for from and related to the nh2 group will actually go and attack with the attack on the attack on the nitrogen atom as a result we will get something like this will actually attack on this nitrogen atom as a result we will be getting something like this compound okay and nh2 here so um, let us let us actually uh, uh, this this topic of uh, comparing or having the or determining the nature of the aniline and phenol towards electrophile which is which was diazonium salt in our case at mild and mild acidic and mild basic condition we saw their nature and their directing uh, directing nature also to which uh, as to which carbon they direct the incoming electrophile to okay so now uh, this this topic is over and now we'll be dealing off with some question in which you have to convert this compound into something like this okay so there can be many approaches uh, I'll be telling one such approach and will be uh, I'll be leaving this as an open question uh, for your homework to be discussed in the next lecture okay so one of the methods to do this is obviously we have the benzene ring then we react it with mixed acid I hope you remember what is mixed acid concentrated HNO3 and H2SO4 as a result nitration of benzene will take place okay so we'll get something like benzene ring substituted with NO2 group okay now what we can do is we can pass on some of the reducing agents Fe, uh, SNHCl, FeHCl or ZNHCl okay all the d block elements uh, act as a reducing agent by themselves undergoing oxidation okay Uh, sorry NO2SN S2S uh, Na2SN S2S then we have H2 in presence of nickel or LiAl H4 it's a very good reducing agent and finally we have H2 on palladium carbon position uh, the surface of palladium carbon okay palladium, carb palladium and carbon surface okay so what we'll be getting is reduction of NO2 group will take place and aniline formation will happen okay after that if we treat it with bromine water what will happen is we have discussed in some previous lectures that bromine will occupy ortho and para positions and then we can actually react it with first Na NO2 in presence of HCl and second okay first first me first let me write it uh, this reaction so what will actually happen is we will get something like a diazonium salt okay and then when we react it with first subsequently if we react it with uh, s3po2 what will happen is we will substitute hydrogen atom in place of n double bond and cl okay so instead of writing H I can directly don't write anything I, I so that's understood that there is a H atom there so I can convert this compound into the desired product 
okay we'll discuss the m2 method till then good luck and goodbye